Today at Kohl's, I'm planning to try some stuff on. I don't have anything in particular that I'm planning on trying on, so just whatever stands out to me, whatever catches my eye. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say, hi, I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you are here. I make dressing room try-ons and try-on hauls, so I hope you'll check out some of my other videos as well. But for now, let's head into Kohl's and try on some clothes. I did a fair amount of browsing and they had a decent mix of summery stuff, tank tops and shorts still, but they've also been getting in some long sleeve stuff too. One of the things I would have loved to try on if they had it in my size was this light blue lace dress. I think this is so pretty and it does have built in cups. I love the detail of these flutter straps. It retails for $48 and I saw online that it also comes in pink. I grabbed a bunch of stuff and headed to the dressing room. First up is this light blue peasant top from Kohl's Jr's brand, SO. It has a peplum and long sleeves. It has a split V neckline with a tie, and I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $36. I really like the color and pattern of this top, but I'm not 100% sold on the fit. When I grabbed it, I was imagining the peplum starting lower than right under the bust. It's very loose and flowy. The sleeves are shorter than full length, at least on me. And like I said, I do love this pattern. And this top also comes in this brown, in this floral, in cream, and in this black floral. Next, I found this pink tank from Esso. It's tied at the hem and it has one little chest pocket. It's sleeveless with a V-neck and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $14. This is a pretty decent affordable top, especially since Kohl's runs sales a lot. I like the knot detail at the hem and it fit pretty well. It's a little bit on the longer side and I think this is a nice basic. I like this color and it also comes in a bunch of other colors. Next up, I found this black patterned jumpsuit from SO. It looks like a straight leg and the bodice is fully smocked. It has tie straps and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $44. Usually I choose a size medium for jumpsuits, especially since I am 5'8", but small was all they had in my store and this did fit a little small on me. It is very stretchy fabric though and it was very soft as well. I love the tie straps, they're so cute. It was a little tight in the crotch, but a size medium should fix that. The length was okay depending on what shoes I'd wear with this and I really like this pattern and it also comes in solid black. Next, I grabbed this dark blue tank top from Lauren Conrad. The straps and neckline are smocked, and I tried this on in a size small, and it was $30. This tank is pretty meh to me. I don't hate it. I just don't love it either. I just feel like it's not doing much for me. It did fit well, and the smocking is nice. It's pretty relaxed through the body. And this blue color, again, kind of meh, it's okay. And it also comes in a bunch of other colors. And if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Next up is this gray and white dotted top from Lauren Conrad. It has bigger dots on the torso and then the dots are smaller on the double flutter sleeves. It has a V-neck line and I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $30. I think this top is cute. It's essentially a t-shirt, but the pattern and flutter sleeves add more interest, which is nice. And I like how there's variation in the dots. The fabric is soft and comfortable, and I like the v-neck as well. I definitely wouldn't pay the full price of $30 for this, but again, like I said, Kohl's always seems to be running sales. Next, I grabbed these super high-rise flare jeans from Lauren Conrad. On the hanger, these look like more boot cut to me than flare, but we'll see when they're on. There's no distressing or anything unusual on these. I tried them on in a size 8, and they retail for $50. These jeans fit pretty well. I was curious to try this super high rise and it hit right at my belly button. So not exactly super high rise on me, but not bad. These are very stretchy, which is something that I appreciate in a pair of jeans. One thing I would change about these would be to make them tighter through the thigh. I think that's why these look more like a boot cut to me. And these come in the lighter wash and also in this dark wash. Next up is this pink pleated dress from Nine West. The pleats are so bouncy. It has a halter neckline and I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $60. This fabric has some shine to it, so between that and the pleats, this dress has a really interesting look. The pleats are very slinky and I like the halter neckline. 
to length it above the knee and it is lined underneath that pleated layer. I just had to see how far I could open up the pleats. The dress is very comfortable and I like this light pink color and this dress also comes in this blue and pink floral. I also grabbed this pleated skirt from Nine West. I saw this hanging up and was like, what is this? It has a shark bite hem, so it's longer on the sides. It just looks so interesting. It's a mix of colors and kind of a curved stripe. I grabbed this in a size small and it retails for $40. This skirt, unfortunately, but also fortunately, did not fit. I couldn't get it on any higher than this. And I personally think it's kind of ugly, but here is how it's supposed to look. Next up are these super high rise wide leg jeans from SO. They are in this light wash. There's no distressing on them, just some slight fading. These have elastic in the back of the waist and I tried them on in a size nine and they retail for $44. Well, this is two in a row that just did not fit. I could not even get these zipped. So I definitely recommend sizing up at least one or two sizes in these. They are juniors, so I know the sizing can be different, but these also don't have much stretch to them. Besides the light wash, these come in brown, in black, and in this medium wash that is distressed. Next, I found this floral top from Sonoma Goods for Life. It's this light peachy color with orange, yellow, and blue flowers on it. It has a square neckline and these tie straps. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $36. I think the idea of this top is cute. This pattern is really fun and I love the tie straps, but now that it's on, I'm just not feeling it. Well, what I am feeling is that it's too tight under the arms. So it was a little uncomfortable. I also just don't love how it kind of has that tighter yoke at the top and then it's looser below that. I thought it looked kind of weird on me, but I do feel like it has potential just maybe on someone else. This top also comes in this white pattern in this blue quilted pattern and in this black pattern. Next up is this dark mustardy yellow and white floral skirt from Nine West. It is a maxi length and it has tiers and a slit. The waistband has elastic in the back and I tried this on in a size medium and it retails for $40. I really like this skirt, but the fit was definitely not perfect on me. The waist fit well and it's pretty high waisted, but then it was pulling through my hips. So I think going a size up would be too big in the waist, but perfect in the hips. The slit hit mid thigh on me and I like it a lot. The length is on the shorter end for a maxi, particularly on me, but that is not surprising based on my height. I really like the white floral pattern and how subtle it is on there. And this skirt also comes in this black and white pattern, in this maroon leopard print and in solid black. Next up is this bluish gray tunic top from Sonoma Goods for Life. The hem is curved and it has these more pronounced seams on the sides. It has very short cuffed dolman sleeves and a simple crew neck line. I tried this on in a size small and it retails for $30. This top is so soft. The tunic length is nice, although it didn't fully cover my butt. I love how the hem is curved. The sleeves are cute, but they're not actually as short as I thought they were going to be. So I think this top is a nice basic and it's super comfortable and could be worn with leggings or tucked in, lots of different ways to wear it. And it comes in a bunch of other colors as well. I also grabbed a bunch of bodysuits, but because there were so many, I'm gonna turn that into a separate video. So stay tuned for that. Well, that was my shopping trip at Kohl's. Definitely some hits and definitely some misses. If you wanna check out anything that I showed today, I'll be sure to link everything down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos from me. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.